It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the Arizona Cardinals, next on Madden NFL 25. But if you're going to play football in Arizona, a dome and air conditioning, those are two good things to have. And we've got both here at State Farm Stadium, just west of downtown Phoenix. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. It teed up, ready to go, and we are underway now from Glendale. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here, and it's the rookie Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete in the quarterback position, beats you with his arm and his legs, and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. Throwing right away is Daniels. And got his man complete. And he'll score. Touchdown, Commanders. A big play there. 72 yards. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big time moments happen for this team. Extra point by Seibert up and good and it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense, get things going, and see how things settle in. To throw is Murray. There's a short one caught by Ryman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time. Either equal. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But you know it's never easy to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and to do it with a sack on their first drive. What a great tone setter defensively. Oh, and no one's celebrating more than the defensive coordinator because that's all he's preached all week long. 
keep him hemmed in. Don't let him get into the open field and create big plays with his feet. To get him down in the pocket early, oh, that's got to feel great for them. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Play action. Now it's Murray. Under pressure, they got him again. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So now make that a second sack for them on this drive. And Brandon, we hear it every week when we go out to do a game. Everyone talks about playing complimentary football. Their offense goes down and scores. They see that, and they want to back them up, and that they did, getting two sacks on this first drive. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot, third and long. He'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, if nothing else, they were able to pick up one first down on this drive and get it away from their own goal line. But not much happening after that, and it leads to a punting situation. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. And he powers through the first lane, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. He stayed afloat for a second there after the first wave of contact, but it, he, that was going nowhere. Yeah, what did he tell us in pregame? I just don't want to get my feet stopped initially when I'm trying to make a run. That's exactly what happened there. Unfortunately, as you noted, got away a little bit from the first one, but the wave swarmed him under. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football. It's caught inside the 25. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Robinson up the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They work now on second and nine. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And the commanders are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They'll run with Robinson. 
And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it out. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. De'Ami Brown there to make the grab and the commanders have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead there was a lot of zip on that pass and baseball might have called that a frozen rope i like it when you bring the diamond into the game i'm going back to the gridiron had some heat on that bad boy sometimes you throw a touchdown pass and sometimes you throw what a touchdown strike there you go that's my man in concert Extra point by Seibert, up and good, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that drive in total, eight plays. And it's Diami Brown who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Escapes the defender, and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Now Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards that time for number 14. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Murray gonna throw. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And Wilson with it, complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 42. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Murray again. This is Connor. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Oh, a wide open receiver, it's Harrison. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 
An excellent pickup of 20 yards. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Bobby Wagner, now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. Fights his way in, not giving up, and it's a Cardinal touchdown. James Conner taking it in from seven yards away, and the Cardinals are back within a score. You talk about certain guys just having a nose for the end zone. He's one of them, and he was not going to be denied there. And defensively, especially in the red zone, you've got to be able to at least slow him down and hold on for dear life. But he's able to get out of a couple of tackles there, and not enough people got there in time. Pretty poor on that defensive side of the ball. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. to the air goes Daniels throw out wide is incomplete well they've got man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands they want man coverage not zone and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion an incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25 Daniels looking to throw over the middle that's complete to McCaffrey and they're able to get this one across the 35 a busy first quarter his third catch of the afternoon is a first down sometimes we overrate the ability to see things differently if you play quarterback but this young man did and he uses it to his full advantage inside outside versatility and works well in traffic and he rifles one and that's going to be intercepted Jalen Thompson picks it, and he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety, and you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. It's a quick turnaround for him after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. 
How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. That's to the right side. He's got Ryman. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Here's Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. And he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up whenever we talk about the best strong safeties one word constantly comes up and that's instincts being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves he crashed down hard there he was ready for that running play second and eight coming from the 19 to throw it's murray and brought down but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Once again, it's counter. But he will go backwards as he stopped for a loss. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Murray now, third and goal. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr., so that now four first half sacks this pass rush has been unrelenting and partner you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds that's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now we have to do something differently fourth down murray off and the cards field goal unit and matt prater out there now prater's kick is good and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14 10. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And here we go on the next drive for Washington. 
So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It's only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. To throw is Daniels. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they're able to get this one across the 35. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And McClure in the motion man right. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball. And let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert. Don't jump early and give them free yardage. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people wanted to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Throwing now is Daniels. Locates Ertz going across the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Well, they go play action. Daniels. They'll get this out wide to Eckler. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best. 
and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And this offense on third down today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. Working out of the gun, Daniels. And this is Ertz with it, right side. Only able to gain a couple there. And it'll be fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Seibert's kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the main field goal, Seibert back out there to kick it away. Well, now how about this return? A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Here's Murray. Able to slither by. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That's multiple times now. He's tagged him with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Murray now to throw. To Connor on the check down. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now second and nine. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Throwing now is Murray. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 19 yards there on the pickup. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, 
how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Here's Blake Gillikin now. Forty six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Here's Daniels. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Daniels. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 23 yards on the tuck and run. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. They'll look to throw now on first down. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback. Because that was awfully close. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. 23 yards on the tuck and run. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And to the air goes Daniels. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half.
This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Daniels looking to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Jalen Thompson picks it. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Prater for the extra point, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. flag comes out here this is going to be roughing the kicker when you're going back there on the kick block you've got to go to the right point that didn't happen ran into the kicker the penalty flag had to come out so nothing separating these two teams as we head to the break all square as now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, Curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 50 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Dante Fowler able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And, partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. Now well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Back to throw here. Got his man, it's Dorch. He's across midfield. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. That one good for 24 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. To throw is Murray. 
There's a short one caught by Ryman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Throwing quickly to Wilson. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. And I think he just wanted to give the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area, and after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. Second and six. They'll try the left side with Connor, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Screen pass to Connor, and he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Connor, and he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. This offense has a lot of weapons, but you know they like to look Connor's way down here near the end zone. He's got that rugged running style, and that's a nice job there to hold him to a short pickup. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. He'll try again. They'll try again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Murray now, third and goal. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Tip Ryman, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Cardinals have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Prater on to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels getting set for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now.
The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. From the 35, here's second and three. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. To throw is Daniels. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Nice run by Eckler, and he continues to be a versatile weapon at this stage of his career, producing over 1,000 all-purpose yards for the third consecutive year last season. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. It's complete to Brown, right side. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. From the 42-yard line, here's second and five. Give to Robinson on the option. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll motion McLaurin left. Now Daniel's going to give it up on the touch pass. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, they tried to catch him by surprise, I think, there with that little pop pass on third down, but no luck. You're right about no luck, but I did like the idea. I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Shh. Yeah. After that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. Not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. Back to the ground with Robinson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Getting out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second and a couple. Throwing now is Daniels. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack. And it'll lead to a third and long. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone.
Third down and 13. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Now they go screen. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So offsides the call, and they understandably decline it. And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all these things. This one's minor. It's pretty easy to figure out. But all the game management stuff, trying to help out the head coach in his decision-making process. The tight end in motion right. Off the play fake, Daniels. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying this ball game here in the final moments of the third quarter. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got a man complete. Down the left sideline. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Marvin Harrison, Jr., 75 yards and the Cardinals strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight the home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead there's nothing like being aggressive preaching that to your team and then following through all the way through go ahead and throw one more up there why not been a great game and we are not done yet Now Prater to add the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The commander's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time.
Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third down and three. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. That is caught. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Second down and four. On the counter, this is Robinson. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Daniels from the gun on third down. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Daniel's going to throw for it. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Got him in, it's Brown. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 44 now, here's second and four. On the give, here's Robinson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Here's Daniels. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it was really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 27-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Now Daniels steps away to his left. 
And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need him to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes a correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. They'll look to throw now on first down. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. Call it a gain of 6 on the play at its second down. Robinson up the middle. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. The offense on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. They're up against a third and one situation. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Being chased out left. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. A nightmare on third and goal. He's sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. And that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Here's Cyber now to add the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Out to the right here to Wilson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Murray now. He's got McBride here over the middle. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. 
They'll try and run for it with counter. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. 59 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Murray now to throw. Got his man, it's George. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Murray a give. This is Connor. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. And they'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Could this be the drive that ultimately wins the game? How about the initiative he just took there? Running with it after he couldn't find a throwing lane. And he drove them into range for a game-winning field goal with that play. What an opportunity they've been presented to come through with the win. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. This is Connor running right. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. They'll come up now, second and nine. Again, it's Connor. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. The commander's going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Well, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Connor up the middle. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And this carry brought to an end at the eight. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second and six coming up. They run behind center with Connor. It's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. Prater on to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. 
A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. This is first and ten. Back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Now this air mail to the sideline. It's incomplete. And there don't appear to be any flags forthcoming. Maybe a little fortunate there. It's third down. So certainly in a pickle here. They have a mile to go to try to pick up the first. We'll see what they've drawn up. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete with a penalty marker down as well. And I think he was beyond the line of scrimmage when that ball left his hand. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty. And that forces a fourth down situation. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Down to Anigo's Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.